Hey everyone, Jackie Somerville here, author of the Little Rule Book series and founder of the Be Your Own Soulmate movement. Welcome to this week's video. This week, my blog is inspired by a story out of the recent New York City Marathon. I don't know if any of you guys saw the story about Joy. She was the oldest runner to complete this year's marathon. She was 86 years old. Joy took up running in her 50s when she retired, well, marathon running. She'd been active until then, but she took up that sport in her 50s. And I think she'd run about 20 New York City marathons before this year. And here's the amazing thing. Joy actually died the following day after completing this year's marathon. She was feeling a little bit tired, so she went to lie down and she never woke up. And when I heard her story, I felt so inspired. It's not that it's not sad when somebody dies, but since we all have to die anyway, what a way to go. You see, here was a woman who really, really lived her life. She was strong, she was fit, she was healthy at 86, and she was happy doing what she loved to do, which was to lace up her running shoes and hit the road. And her story reminded me of a book that I'd read years ago called Younger Next Year by a guy called Chris Crowley, who actually wrote it, co-wrote it with his doctor. And the book, even though it was aimed at men in their 50s, and I think I was in my late 30s at the time when I picked up the book, or early 40s, and I'm a woman, I was still totally gripped by it. It fascinated me because I thought, what a great concept. It made so much sense. You see, the premise behind this book is that if you exercise hard, and they're not saying a walk around the block, they're saying exercise hard, every day, well, six days a week is what they recommend, that you're going to live a life like Joy did. And I'm going to show you the graphs from the book. I mean, I, have, I didn't get the book again to, to relook at the graphs. This is how I remember them. It made an impact on me. So here's how most people live and die, right? At, at about 50, they start to go downhill and it's a slow process of disease and degradation until they finally peter out at the end. And it's not very pleasant. The way that Joy lived and the way that Chris Crowley recommends in his books is that you go, 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 whoops, wrong way around, as fit and strong as you can. And then finally one day, boom, you drop off the end. So it's all about quality of life. And that just made so much sense to me. And these guys don't go into depth about nutrition because they say, just don't eat crap, right? Be sensible about food eat whole, healthy, good food, but you know, don't be crazy about it and don't eat a bunch of crap, but exercise, work out hard so your body is fit and strong and you can fight disease. And then one day when you've already lived a full, wonderful life, just as Joy did, boom, you go out with a bang. And since we all have to die anyway, I personally think that's the perfect way to go. So here's the thing. This video is a big reminder to you if you haven't worked out yet today, I would suggest that you do, because don't we all want to live a life like Joy did? Don't we all want to go out like she did? I think it's the perfect way. So I want to inspire you to lace up your shoes, whatever sport you're going to do, do it hard, do it six days a week, push yourself so that you get to live this long, full, exciting, strong, wonderful life. I hope I've inspired you to get out there and push yourself a little harder when you exercise today. I'm Jack. Oh, and by the way, if you want to pick up those books, Chris Crowley now does have one for women, Younger Next Year for Women. There's also Thinner Next Year. Anyway, go online and order them. They really are great books, make a lot of sense to me and probably inspire you to live a better life too. You see, there is one thing that we can do that's really simple, not easy, but really, really simple to change our lives instantly and that's to exercise. It is the one thing that we really can do right now to create immediate change. So go out there and exercise. I'm Jackie Somerville reminding you that instead of focusing on finding love, focus on being love and finding yourself. If you've liked this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends, and head on over to JackieSomerville.com and sign up so you never miss another free video. Now head out there and do some exercise. Thank you so much for watching and I want to thank Joy for inspiring me and for inspiring so many people. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.